If you follow MMORPGs, even from a distance by now, you have probably heard of the massive crap fest that is Throne in Liberty, which has really been discovered after the Korean beta kicked off earlier this week with an NDA drop and loads of new content coming out covering the game. For those of you who don't know though, a quick recap. Throne in Liberty has been pulled straight from the year 2001 with its very bland tab targeting combat system that has you stand in one place while casting abilities, allowing you to move slightly around in between casts while you just spam through the abilities on your action bar. But if you don't want to spam through the abilities on your action bar, you don't have to because Throne in Liberty has auto combat and it will do it for you 100%. So just sit back and click that button, read a book or something, play RuneScape on your phone, some Candy Crush, whatever, play two games at once because now you can. There's also some feature called auto hunting that you can get when you purchase the premium season pass. I don't really know what that is because I lost interest way before I even wanted to look. There's also an auction house that you can use your real life money on according to some guy on Reddit and the list goes on and on and on. I mean, look at this video right now. This guy isn't even touching his keyboard. He's getting up and walking around and the game is still playing. It's absolutely ridiculous. I, I don't even know why this is something NCSoft would even think that players are going to enjoy. There's no playing a game here. You're just sitting back and relaxing while the game plays for you. NCSoft must have gone confused between developing this in a mobile game and mixed them up somewhere down the line and was like, oops, didn't mean to do that. I don't even know because this game is 100% mobile game MMO garbage. Like I said, I could play this game and I could also play RuneScape on my phone at the same time and have these two very simple auto combat games do all the work for me, it'd be great. You know, I could be max level in both in no time. I don't understand how this is something that 11 years of development gets you. This is why I would much prefer Intrepid's transparent development process so they can continue to get feedback and not have players going blind to whatever it is they think is a good idea to do. You don't not show a game for 11 years and then launch the biggest shit show the MMO genre has seen in a long time. So we can cross this game off our most anticipated MMOs and go get ourselves ready to be disappointed by the next one. But even with the massive negative backlash that has hit the game this last week, it's not all bad because every failure of an MMO is a lesson that Intrepid can dig deep into and learn as they continue to develop Ashes of Creation for us to all soak our teeth into eventually. You may be wondering how could Intrepid learn from a game that is this bad? Well, there are more game systems in the game behind this crappy auto combat and the pay to win if you can ever manage to auto play your way to that. As this game was still originally intended to be a lineage sequel, it still has massive systems like Ashes of Creation Will, such as massive castle sieges and open world dungeons that although will be fought through with the world's worst MMO combat I've seen in a long time, there are still systems that have a purpose that could have some cool things about them, such as siege creatures to play a ride or the way dungeons raids are set up to get players moving, how boss mechanics work, on top of spawn points and all that. Because although NCSoft approached this in a really crappy way, they still could have some gems within this game. But there is mostly a whole lot of what not to do when developing an MMO, which is also a lesson learned. For example, the complete clutter of Throne and Liberty's UI. To me, it feels like there's way too much happening between the massive bag windows, the NPCs popping up and speaking, the over-the-top event logs under the mini-map. I would much rather have a more simplistic UI with smaller buttons, smaller bags, and the most basic information shown to get you through. That way, I can focus on the game and the world surrounding the game and not all the other clutter that's happening. I could be alone on this, some people might like this UI, but I feel there's way too much happening at any given moment on the screen. I will personally have to wait until Amazon does a western beta test to try this out and really dive into how much these systems suck or don't suck, but there's always something to learn from every MMORPG out there, and Throne in Liberty has some cool features as well, such as this animal beast shape-shifting things where players can turn into lions, birds, fish, and so much more to traverse the world. Hopefully, there's more cool features besides that. I may never know.
know, let's see if we get through a beta. This, like I said earlier, is also something that us players can learn from. Anytime any of us has thought Intrepid needs to go dark for a while and stop with the transparent development, well, I don't want that at all anymore. Take all of the feedback that you can possibly get Intrepid because the MMO genre is bleak right now and I don't need this mobile game garbage to play for the next few years. And maybe people will think twice before complaining about seven years of development when this is what 11 years of quiet development gets you. If you made it this far into the video, well then I assume you are probably enjoying this content for some reason. So do me a favor and click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, that way we can give the channel a boost as we head towards Alpha 2. And also join the Discord because I need more people in there to talk to me because it's lonely. Otherwise, comment down below your thoughts on Throne and Liberty so far and if there's anything that you've seen that could potentially benefit Ashes of Creation in the long run. Otherwise, if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, Feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump into the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot in the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come.